local woman has an innovative way to keep inner city kids off the streets and out of trouble. She says all you need is to get them on a horse. Lou Parker here to tell <laughs> us about that woman's posse in Compton. They are in Compton. We found a jewel in Compton, and they call themselves the Compton Junior Posse. And I recently got a chance to visit them at the stables, and what I found there was quite special. Hot chocolate. Oh, yeah. Now I get it. Ugh. Put this right here. Tiara Taylor considers herself shy. Good boy. But when this nine year old is with horses, things change. I've got bucked off before. Yeah? Yeah, but I still got on the horse. Good for you, sir. Taylor is one of thousands of inner city youth yeah. who have taken a turn. You're sitting up tall, you look good. In the right direction by showing up at these stables to learn lessons not only in riding, but also for life. I'm Tupac. This oh, is Tupac. Yeah, this is Tupac. And Tupac. this is Maisha Akbar, the woman who guides the young riders and has for over two decades. Hello, how are you? It's all part of an enrichment program called Compton Junior Posse. Thank you. Akbar started the posse in her backyard, right here in the middle of a Compton City neighborhood better known as Richland Farms. It's horse country. Horse country, yes. <laughs> People drive by and they say, hey, there's horses up and down the street. And for Akbar, that's a good thing. She tells me she'd rather the kids be on the street with horses than with drugs or gangs. It's why she started the nonprofit organization. It helped me keep me off the streets. I wouldn't know where I'd be right now if I wasn't here. You really feel that way? I really feel that way. 17 year old Keith Johnson, a perfect example. He's been part of the posse for over a year and says spending time with horses, like Big Luscious, teaches him patience and motivates him to do better in school. If I get a D on his test, I'm not going to be riding, so it's like, you better study. The youth range in ages from 8 to 20 years old. Many of them are here daily to brush the horses, clean the stalls, even assist the younger generation. There you go, just like that. But Compton Junior Posse also has a competitive equestrian team actively showing and jumping, the posse picking up the majority of the tab. I like to say our kids are ambassadors into other communities because in order for us to compete, we have to go into communities that are far different than us. But in the end, Akbar knows those differences will begin to blur, which will then help these kids eventually ride into the real world just a little easier. Now, another great thing about the Compton Junior Posse is that they actually help the kids compete specifically in hopes of getting equestrian scholarships for college. Wonderful. In wow. 20 years, and not too many people know about right. it. Right. You say, can you believe it? No. <laughs> right, but it's right. crazy good and such a good one. And of course, they can always use volunteers and, and, and more money. So we have all the information at KTLA.com. Another great one, Lou Parker. Yeah, thanks, thank you, as Micah. always. All right.